uh, are everyone able to access the problem? What? Okay, so for those of you who are not able to access it, uh, all, do all of you know? Okay, so go to popcorn.com slash tc. In the left side, you will have a ta uh, tab called algorithm. Okay, click on it. You will get a drop down which has uh, many many things. In that, go to match editorials, select SR 476 and click on the problem statement. That way you can access the problem. Are everyone able to access the problem? Tell the name of the problem. Friend store. Uh, maybe it's a good problem again. It's not. <coughs> so, is the problem accessible? I'll explain the question. There are n people. Uh, so, your person zero. So the statement goes like you are in Facebook, that is the end friends are in Facebook and you are in, uh, you are the person zero and you want to visit the profile of all your friends but the, but the, so this is the aim of the problem. So any tour will be, uh, that is any tour of say, okay, so uh, for example, suppose the friends of person zero are one and four and say n equal to five. That means you are initially in the profile of 0. So 0 will have some person's links for which he can go to. Say he can go to the links uh, 3 and 4. So what he can do is he can go to the link of uh, the page of profile page of person number 4. And then from there he can try to go to the profile page of person number one. So basically what we want is a tour of, uh, a full tour of all his friends profiles. So that is the question. The problem, uh, the one, one thing is, uh, uh, another condition in the question is, you must never visit uh, any other uh, per person's profiles who, who are not your friend. So you specifically want to visit only these person's profiles. You don't uh, want to go to any other person's profile. So, say from 0 you can go to 4, but from 4 you cannot go to 1, then you cannot complete the tour. And also if from i you can go to j, from j also you can go to i. So, the links are bidirectional. Uh, also, the final condition is, suppose you have, say, uh, 4 friends. Suppose a person has 4 friends. At any point of time, only k of them's uh, only k of them's profile will be displayed in your uh, in your profile. I mean, so so for as an example, uh, suppose the friends of zero are say one, two, three, four, five, and zero wants to visit the profiles of persons one and four. Right? And, but suppose k is 2, that means out of these 5, it is equally likely that you will get any two of these profiles in, in your profile link list and you can go only to them. So, everyone understood the question? The constraints are, so, okay, so find the expected number of, uh, okay, find the probability that you will be able to complete the tour. So, for example, say uh, 0 wants to visit the profiles of 1 and 4, but 1 and 4 are not in his friends list, then whatever two profiles are being, uh, whatever two friends are being shown in his profile, it's of no use because he should not go to them. So, he cannot complete the tour in this case. So, assuming that you play the optimal strategy, find the probability that you will finish the tour. So the constraints are n is less than or equal to 36 and the number of neighbors for each friend is less than or equal to 15. 
So think about it for a minute and then I'll explain the solution. Okay, one thing which he was unclear about is from if you have uh, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and you want to visit 1 and 4, suppose that in this k equal to 2 by chance both 1 and 4 are there, then you can you have to make a choice on which one's profile you will go, you would go to. You can't basically go to both the profiles because at any point of time you can be only in one profile. So, Mac, so this choice is what is in your hand. Which profile you would go to? Even if one and four are visible. Okay. The the answer I I don't think it is equal to probability of selecting one half into yeah yeah into I mean plus half into nine. yeah you have to choose one. So there is no question of a probability of choosing one. You can choose one. So if one and four are visible and uh, with one I can make. Yeah, then the pro then the probability is one. There's no question of a fractional probability itself here. Given that you know what are visible, whatever you choose, you can surely go to there. Correct? There's no condition of less than fifty. There's it's given in an encoded form. The string length is less than or equal to thirty-six. You can that is actually one crucial observation of the problem which which is actually quite not so good, but still it's a crucial observation of the problem. Since the string lengths are less than or equal to 36, you can you can easily see that you can have only 15 neighbors, 15 friends. See, string length is less than or equal to 36. Even in the worst case, one, the one space, two space, three space. So if you work that out, you, you can easily check that you can have only 15 friends. I'll get on with the first observation. Since person zero has only 15 friends, you can basically represent the state as whether each of the 15 friends has been already visited or not. So that will be a bit mask of length 15. So basically you will have a bit mask of length 15. A zero here denotes that you haven't visited that the profile of that friend yet. And a one there denotes that you have already seen that friend yet. So a bit mask comma position that is your current position that is in which of these 15 friends profile you are in completely denotes the state. Correct? So, a bit mask comma push index is surely a state. So, basically we are trying to de define a dynamic programming structure. We know the state. So, can anyone tell what the edges will be? All unvisited friends. You have a complication here, right? At most, k of, your, k of the friends profile will uh, friends profiles will be displayed here. So, you do not have the choice of choosing what our friend you want. The friend must be displayed here for you to choose it. And this k, I mean the, out of the n, uh, if you have say m friends, any of the m choose k possibilities are valid here. If m is less than or equal to k, then all the profiles will be displayed here. If m is greater than k, any of the m choose k is equally, valid, equally likely to be here. So you will have to take into account something like that. So. Okay, first assume that this condition k is not there and let's try to come up with a solution. So, can you tell a solution now? Let's forget about the factor k for now and check whether we can get a solution. So, assume when you are in a given state, all the friends profiles are displayed here and you can choose whichever friend of the friends you want. Now, can you even tell what the solution will look like? All my friends and all the friends which are not yet taken, any of them I can choose from there I can go. All my friends and? All my friends and all the friends which are yet to be ta uh, taken. Um, so you can go there but you, you have a choice with you. So which will you choose among all the friends? Okay, so as he says, see, so s suppose you have some, uh, okay, suppose you have M choices, M friends are there totally. I mean, M of the friends you want to visit finally are there totally. What he suggests is try going to each of these states, and so basically for each of them you know probability of uh, for each of them you know probability of uh, completion. Say so, for example, uh, I'm at a state. A bit, so bit mask comma assume I am at number 5, friend number 5. So assume the choices are at this position are 6 and 8. 
that is you can go to friend number six and eight how will you choose between where to go but you have the choice so you can either go to six or go to eight so his solution is check the probability you get on going to six check the probability you get on going to eight obviously you will take the one with the maximum probability of these two do you, are everyone clear with this this point i'll repeat it again so from this position assume you have the position of many friends which you haven't visited yet just try out each possibility get the probability of finishing from that position sort it in descending order and take the maximum this will work right assuming there's no k so we can so solve this problem assuming k is not given correct so now we have the additional complication what if k is given i mean this means that suppose phi has 10 friends out of which you are supposed to visit say three of the three of the three of the profiles you want to finish visiting how will you go the problem is so if k equal to 4 of these 10 some random four of them will be displayed in the picture in the random four you you may not have any of these three you may have one of these three you may have two of these three or you may have three of these three for each possibility we'll have to find the probability of win, uh, probability of finishing so one brute force way of doing will be basically iterate over all 10 choose k possibilities okay each of them will give you k friends so in that k if there are zero of them obviously the probability of finishing is zero assuming these k are in, in this k none of these three are here so in this k if one friend is there one friend you want to finally visit is there you will surely take it if two friends are there you try each possibility and sort, uh, sort in descending order the probabilities and take the one uh, and so you will pick the one with the maximum probability similarly with three you sort uh, you try each possibility sort in descending order and take the maximum so basically after iterating over all the m k possibilities it reduces to the previous question since you know it reduces the question without k since you know what are the, uh, since you know the profiles which are going to be displayed here you can as well apply the method which you applied there but sadly this will take a lot of time because m choose k can i don't know balloon up so can i have a better solution than this so you are assuming that basically the so the first part of your solution is if there are three friends first go to all three of them's profile and get the probability of finishing assuming the the friends profile will be displayed there sort it in descending order and choose the k first uh, descending order and k sort it in descending order and then take uh, i mean the number of friends are n okay so uh, first traverse uh, first try all the possibilities assuming there is no k okay so then get the first k maximum and assume that those are displayed on the I mean, how can we assume that the first k are displayed there? I mean, it is a random event. It's like a toss of. It's like you are assuming that a toss of a coin will always get you get heads. The analogy is similar to that, but you can't assume that because it can give you heads or a tail. We'll formalize. We don't need to keep saying n. So assume you have a total of m friends. M friends and out of which you are interested in say some l of them. L of them you are interested in. So you want to visit the. Pro so basically, if you have visited, oh, there, there is another number also. So assuming, also assume that there are L of these friends you are interested in, and totally you have a set of P friends which you have to visit to complete the tour. So you have three variables here, correct? M, the total number of friends at this position. L, the set of friends. Uh, that is basically P, the friends you will visit, you